we get better results when we understand that bubble. How about this? Let's step out of our bubble for a moment and let's step into their bubble for a moment and experience the mindset of that bubble. You're listening to 5-Hour Real Estate Week, where you'll learn to consistently buy real estate in only five hours a week. So if you're ready to invest in real estate, achieve financial freedom, and own the lifestyle you deserve, even with your job, this is the show for you. Now, here's your host, Mike Butler. Hello and welcome to another episode of the 5-Hour Real Estate Week. And I'm Mike Butler, and today's topic is going to be Freedom Fridays. And we're going to talk about something you probably never thought of before, but I can promise you what we're getting ready to go over here has had the biggest effect, positive effect on my real estate business across the board. So let's dive in. We're going to talk about your bubble, which is me and you, our bubble, if you want to call it, versus their bubble. You may not have heard this before, but we're going to dig in. It's going to be short and sweet to the point. Please absorb it and think about it seriously and implement it into your life into your business as soon as possible. So let's talk about our bubble first, me and you, the investor bubble, if you will. We do things differently than a lot of other folks, okay? So for example, let's call it our culture. So we don't shop at Aaron's rent center We don't shop at a pawn shop normally. Yeah, there's some tightwad investors that do, looking for something they can almost steal. But as a rule of thumb, we think we're very frugal. We live below our means. We look for the best deal, the best value. We will shop for online using our fingers for 20 minutes, half hour, three hours, trying to find something that had better price, better value, free shipping, whatever, all that. Okay. And that includes using our brain and our knowledge, our expertise and our training to even go out and find deals. So what we think in our world, okay, that is normal, let's call it the investor mindset culture, that's not the case with the rest of the world. We're a very small bubble in the world of bubbles, okay? We're a very small bubble because folks that are not in our bubble don't they think differently than us? Don't they think that we're weird? Yeah, that's okay. But if we're in a, in a group of people with that are in this bubble with us, they're like-minded like us, we can all communicate. We can be friends. Odds are your friends are like that. Yeah, I have friends in low places and I have friends in high places. Mike does. Okay, because I've taken it to the next level years and years ago. So we talked about our bubble a little bit. Now let's talk about their bubble. So, and because we want to get rental, those 20 nice rental houses paid for and do it safely in three to five years. Well, here's what we're going to do. Our goal is not to compete with Trump or whatever, but we want to find great residents and to have great residents and keep them forever. We got to understand their bubble. Okay. Now here's one of the things to try to stress this to the max. Why do they in their bubble pay $22 a week to rent a toaster? Think about that. Now you might say, well, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, that's what we say in our bubble. But think about it over in their bubble. They think that's normal. And we might not agree with it. We think that's outrageous. We think that's a ripoff. How could they do that? That they're stupid. Okay. Think about this. I don't know the names of all these places, but I do know this. They sponsor some NASCARs. And if they sponsor NASCARs, they definitely are making a profit. So I know of one called Aaron's Rent a Center. Uh, there's another one, Rent World, or something like that. You've got several in your town. I've got several in my town. And some of them are national. They maybe they're a franchise. I don't know. Okay. But the bottom line is they're making some money. And to sponsor NASCAR is a double whammy for those type of businesses. Because guess what? If they sponsor a NASCAR race car, and I know NASCAR is dying. Okay. I know that it's dying. Isn't that a way to target more of their customers? Target their, they understand the bubbles. They understand the niche. They understand the profile of their typical customer. Okay. You can go into Aaron's rent a center. Okay. And I've heard this from folks. Okay. You can rent a computer. You can rent a couch. You can rent a lamp, anything and anything imaginable they'll rent. And then they also have rent to own. So they think that they're doing something great and wonderful. 
crazy insane in our bubble, but it's normal in their bubble. So what do they think about us? They think the things that we do in the way that we think is Abby normal. We think the way they function and their personal financial practices, okay, and behavior, we think that's outrageous. And that's Abby normal. And you know what? You can't change them all. Dave Ramsey tries to, and he does a good job at it, but that's just very few. So you can't change the world and we're not going to change the way we think. So what do you do when you run into that situation? Yeah, we can try to help people all we want to and this and that. But the bottom line is this, if that's their culture and that's the way they were raised and that's what their caveman brain was brainwashed with, that's a tough one to break. Very tough. So we get better results when we understand that bubble. How about this? How about this? Let's step out of our bubble for a moment and let's step into their bubble for a moment and experience, okay, in the, the mindset of that bubble. And when you can do that, you will communicate so much better. Now, one of the things I do when we process a rental application and then it's time to sign all the docs and this and that. So we got a new resident coming in, going to sit down, sign all the papers. We schedule an appointment, 60 minutes. Very first thing they watch is the rent talk video. It's a 16 minute video. It's new tenant and renewing tenant orientation training. Okay. And one of the things we do to help us achieve getting paid more than 110% of our rents every month, even during COVID. Okay. When they sit down to sign the papers, don't you normally give them two keys? Now I'm getting ready to tell you something's going to not hit you in the head and make you feel weird. So we start them off with two keys and we say, Hey, Sally, how would you like to have an extra key or two? Okay. Would you like to have an extra key or two right now? And we sell them one for $10, two for $15. Now, you're going to blow a stack right now. You say, well, I go to Home Depot and get one for a buck and a quarter or a dollar, whatever it is. That's true. They could too. But why do they pay? They always get the two for 15. And why do they do that? The same reason people sell pizza by the slice for the convenience. Okay. For the convenience, they got their truck loaded up. They're ready to move. The last thing they need is to make another trip. You're saving them a job. You're saving them the time that they would have to go over to Home Depot and do that. Plus you can add two of your more custom key tags in there. So you can give them four keys with your key tags on it. And your key tags are walking little billboards advertising all year long. So think about it, our bubble, their bubble into here's a cherry on top. And I want you to start doing this today. And you're going to hear me say this in many more episodes before and after use their first name in almost every sentence. Do you love to hear your name called Sally? Do you love to hear your name, Bill? Makes you smile, doesn't it? Well, that's what you want to do with them. They want You want your residents to fall in love with you. Not, you're not going to be their best friend. But anyway, our bubble, their bubble, that wraps up this one. See you on the next one. Adios. Glad you joined us for another episode of Five Hour Real Estate Week. The best thing you can do now is put this information to action. To help you get started, Mike created a free resource for you called How to Buy 50 Houses a Year, Even With Your Job. Download it now by going to mikebutler.com forward slash 50 houses. And we'll see you on the next episode.